What is up? Happy Arvo. Thank you for joining me today. We've got another Australian hero. Okay. Another day, another Australian hero. Hero truck driver has my boy Carl in stitches. I love Carl, so... I want to see about the hero. I want to see what Carl has to say. Let's go. One man has become an instant hero on his local grocery run, stopping a robbery in its tracks by tackling the culprit. T and... This robber really brought a cart to rob the store. As his friends call him, was the last person these bumbling burglars would want to come across. And he joins us now. T, so great to have you on the show. <laughs> Looked like the door almost took out the robber by itself. Thank you, how are you? Hey! Oh, to see you, bro. <laughs> oh, look fantastic. Hey. Just... What are they laughing at? T, so great to have you on the show. Thank you, how are you? Hey! <laughs> They're just laughing at him. Oh, to see you, bro. <laughs> oh, look fantastic. Hey. Just take us, take us through how this all Come unfolded, on. T. Uh, to be honest, it was just like a normal day. Just driving here to the coast to drop off their magazines. Mm. And then I seen like uh, the lady in the medical center. She was waving up. So I was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I didn't know what she was waving at, to be honest. Yeah. But then I jumped out the truck and then um, she was like, these two guys next door in the pharmacy robbing it. And I was like, they were doing what? They're rubbing what? Oh, robbing it. Robbing, got it. <clears throat> like, got it. right now. And then she's like, yeah, yeah, right now. And so I was like, oh, I'll wait there then and I'll go over and check it out. So I just walked over, stood in front of the door and then I looked down and I seen them and I was like, mate, what are, what are you up to? Yeah. And then they just looked at me, turned, turned around, looked at me and then they started walking towards me. At that time, I didn't know whether they had knives or anything. Right. So I sort of was just being cautious about it. That's what sucks, like, about being the hero, you know? It's always tough because you never know what these dudes are packing. I mean, especially in the States, you never know. But they could have knives, they could have whatever in Australia. So, it's always dangerous, but hey, that's kind of part of why it makes you a hero. To be honest. <laughs> and then um, the closer... The so I sort of was just being cautious about it, to be honest. <laughs> and then um, the closer they got... I love this guy. <laughs> yeah. I sort of took a step back, and then that's when the first fella just ran straight past me. I was like, but he got away. And then um, the second fella just looked at me. I was like, you're not going anywhere. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so you what did you do? So I just tackled that fella down. Oh, well, I, that's when I grabbed yeah. the guy, and I tackled him on the ground and just held him there. And then I was just literally, he was struggling at first, and I just said to him, I was like, mate, you're wasting your breath. Yeah. You're just going to make yourself tired. <laughs> and hey, then uh, after, after a little while, he sort of sort yeah. of just gave up, and then I was like, I have a son, he's 15 years old, so my fatherly instinct kicked in, and I'm, I just started giving him life advice, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow, this guy is a heart of gold. You know, bring the guy brings up his son. He probably doesn't even know his own son. He's like, I think I have a son. He's probably about 15 by now. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen him in 14 years. Uh, did you say to him, <laughs> Mr. T, did you say to him, oh, too many weights, not enough speed? <laughs> but I should. Too many weights, not enough speed. <laughs> <laughs> but you must have said yeah, so. you I obviously reckon. yeah too many weights not enough speed what some kind of a reference got it got it had no concern for your own safety i love this and then and then you and you tackle him down did, did you not in all seriousness have any worries about being hurt at all because you know you could have had anything Nah, to be honest, I, that wasn't even in my mind, to be honest. The lady asked for help, and I, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I got your back. Jump in there and just help out, pretty much. 
Oh, legend. Mr. T, I want to know yeah. what I'm advice badass. you gave mm. him. Because I think it took about 10 minutes for the cops to get there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, it was pretty much just like, I was like, because they first I asked him how old he was, and he told me 15, so I was like, He's got a 15-year-old son. He's 15. Mate, I got a 15-year-old son. Why are you hanging out? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This guy's the guy with the 15-year-old son. Okay, I take everything back. I, <laughs> I said everything bad about him. I take it all back. Those drop kids. I wouldn't talk about this guy. <laughs> they're no good for you. Like, you got your whole life ahead of you, but you're 15 years old. Oh, the, the robber was 15. Okay, this changes a lot. Come on, mate. And then he, he sort of offered me a bribe. He's like, bro, I'll give you 200 bucks. If you let me go, and I'm like, cuz, I pointed at my work truck, I was like, but I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> I make that in a day, cuz. You're gonna have to be more than that. But I need your money. Oh, man, you are And then, legend. um, <laughs> and then I'm just like, I was telling him, cause he's like, just let me go, I don't wanna go to jail, I don't wanna go to jail. And then I just sort of told him, I said, oh, I'm sorry, bro, but this is what happens when you're a naughty boy, eh? <laughs> Mate, you deal with the consequences, cuz. <laughs> Mate, I am transfixed you by go. you. Um, you are, you are. There's something so, yeah, I'm transfixed by this whole thing. There's something just mesmerizing about Australian news. A proper, a proper legend. <laughs> the news Somehow even like a saddish story about a robbery just is still fun. Dylan Prime Minister is also um, in Australia right now. Uh, and you're you're the kind of Kiwi that needs to be celebrated <laughs> in a very, very large way. The kind of Kiwi. What the hell is that? Is that? Isn't that a slang term for New Zealander? I'm trying to, I've heard that. Kiwi. Uh, would you want to come over my place for a hungy? <laughs> but I'll cook it for you, cuz. <laughs> You've done properly. You're a legend, my man. Mr. T, great to talk to you. Thank you so much for being with us. No, thank you guys. Cheers. Oh, kia ora, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What a chill guy. We need more Mr. T's out here. A wonderful story. Mm. What a legend. I, love I just want to hang out with him. Yeah. <laughs> so have a few spites. <laughs> a life coaching business. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, no. You got to love Carl. Life advice from he, he really carries the show, doesn't he? He's an absolute legend. What are they going to do when he retires? <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Fun little one today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope to see you here again tomorrow. I'll be here. You know, I think tomorrow's my Reddit day. I'll be looking at the Australian Reddit, see what the top posts are this week. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic Arvo. Goodbye.